Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions review for Drums Rock VR, a game released today on the Steam Store June 2nd, 2022 for all the major VR headsets. It released in early access. It normally retails for 20 bucks. It's on a release sale, 15% off. I received a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game, and I'm testing it out on the MetaQuest 2 using Link Cable. I'm on an RTX 3080. I have this on high graphics quality. I'm getting a steady 90 frames per second. And I have lowered the track volume. Uh, I will say that one thing that so far I don't like is that I can't really hear my own drums. And <laughs> I tried lowering the track volume to see if maybe that would help, but it, it really didn't. Uh, I didn't notice that much of a difference. Uh, maybe lower it a little bit more. And uh, these are the other settings, uh, grab mode. And I, I like that because this game, you're encouraged to toss your drumsticks. I'm not very good at it. Uh, obviously I wanna show my hands. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and show the, yes. Oh, you know what, I, I didn't, it's okay. I don't need to save the settings. <laughs> uh, as you can see, there's different settings. You can change your hands. Although I like the Oni tattoo, that's why I got that one. <laughs> you can change the drum sets. Uh, I think that's what I want to work towards. Maybe the Red Skull. And yeah, we don't we don't want those. Uh, but yeah, we I think definitely the Black Skull. And uh, we have the Steam Crowbars. Um, I think I might want to change that. Uh, and the only reason is because I think I've had some issues with it, but I can't really tell. I don't think it's really the drumsticks, but. Uh, let me see, do I want the lava or the golden skulls? Let's go with the lava. Let's equip that, all right. So as you can see, you can toss your drumsticks and I caught them, yes. And there's also some songs to unlock. Um, there's a campaign mode and a challenge mode. Let's start with the challenge mode and then I'll show some of the campaign. Now I've been doing mostly the campaign, uh, but let's go ahead and show off your lily. And we're going to play it on medium difficulty. Okay. And the thing about Challenge Rock is you can see the global leaderboard. So this is my first time playing this on medium. I did do it on the campaign, but I think it was an easier difficulty. Oh, <laughs> I, miss, I messed that one up already. You definitely want to toss your drumsticks the first time you play before you start playing. It gives you an extra score. Now, um, there are some interesting notes on the beat map. Uh, there's one where it's like, there's like a balloon. I will say they have trouble telling the, the yellow from the orange and it confuses me. I, I wish that they would change the colors on that because that is a problem for me. I have a trouble distinguishing the orange from the yellow. To me, they both look orange to me. <laughs> I guess one looks like a darker orange, but they both look like orange to me. So far, it's been pretty simple. I hope they get more complicated notes to show you some of the different types of notes available. Famous last words. Okay, there there we go. So you see, I hope you saw what I did there. Oh. Sorry, I was messing up really bad there. <laughs> So I have to hit it four times.
keep messing up the red and the blue. We need to get that red and the blue thing. Messed up. I will eventually get this red and blue combo pit down pat every single time. I had a miss hit there. I guess I wasn't paying attention. So not the best. <laughs> I'm still learning this game. Uh, by the way, the developer is Garage 51. You see their little logo over there. And you do get points. Uh, I got 42 uh, money received to get some unlocks. And we're going to check out where we landed on the leaderboard there. I don't think I did all that well. Let's see. Where were we? Medium. Okay. Not the worst. Obviously, these people really struggled. I'm like right in the middle, but not very good either. Okay, so uh, that's the challenge. Let's go to campaign. Now, with campaign, uh, let's go to act two. And then I'll go back to act one and show uh, some of the problems that I did encounter there. But let's go ahead and let's do Demon's March. And as you can see, I have three different goals. Complete the level, finish with more than 60% life, and get a chain of 50 or more. All right, well, let's try. Okay, so again, let's toss our drumsticks. All right, we got it that time. Gotta be ready. I'm hoping it shows different notes. So far, uh, there hasn't been, there is a big variety. It's not just the ones where you have to hit several times in a row. I think I mistook the red and blue with the red and purple earlier, and I got several wrong for that reason. That was just my mistake. I just had a brain fart. Okay, six, six. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You do have to count them.
my biggest complaint is just that I, even though I've messed around with the track sound and the overall music sound level, uh, I can't hear my own. Oh, I messed up big time there. <laughs> I still got three stars, though. And I received $120. Uh, so we got all our all our quests, mini quests there. So uh, let's go look at the store and see what may, what we unlocked a new chapter as well. All right, so let's, uh, let's go to the shop. And we got 247 so almost enough to buy something really interesting. And no, nothing, nothing new unlocked. Okay, some we can unlock a song if we wanted to. Uh, like I was saying before, uh, there is some issues with this game. Uh, let me go and show the issues I had with I Love Rock and Roll. This is on easy. Um, by the way, sometimes it'll have you play with like a with boxing gloves versus drumsticks. And this happens automatically on one of these. I think it might be this one. Pun yeah, punching gloves on that one. We're not gonna show that, but because uh, you just take my word for it, it's just punching gloves versus drumsticks. But I wanna show this one because there was an issue that I faced. I think that's a bug. Keep in mind, this is an early access. Uh, either it's a bug or there's something wrong with my technique. If there's something wrong with my technique, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So maybe you guys can tell me. But uh, you'll see here. So. See, each time it was wrong. You're supposed to hit them. Let's retry that. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, <laughs> is there something wrong with my technique? I was actually getting more with the crowbar. It's so particular. You see that? Yeah, it, it, it's too... It's too... Sometimes it registered, sometimes it didn't. I do notice, like, if they're touching, it's a lot easier. But it's, even then, it doesn't always work. Now, if I have them separated at all, it doesn't work. They need to be almost touching, like this, for it to register. And it's just too finicky. Like, it's just too finicky. Even when I have them together, it doesn't always register. Uh, so, again, I don't know if there... Maybe there's something wrong with my technique, but I, I actually think it's it's a bug, unless I'm mistaken there. But I'm pretty sure it's a bug. So far, that's the only one, though. And that uh, note of hitting uh, twice, hitting simultaneously with, a, with a, both drumsticks on one drum pad doesn't happen a lot, but uh, it... it Definitely doesn't register properly, at least on the MetaQuest 2 using Link Cable with the touch controllers. Uh, but I will say, uh, currently there's 19 songs uh, in early access. There's lots of unlocks as well. I like the campaign. I've been having fun playing that. That's what I've mostly been playing. Uh, but I also like that there's a challenge and you can go, you know, hard, medium, or easy. Um, and then, you know, you can unlock these songs. Uh, through the campaign or through unlocking them through the shop as well. Uh, I've been having fun. Uh, I wouldn't. Some reviewers have said this is the best VR drumming game. I don't think that's true, but I would definitely say it's in the top tier. Oh, by the way, something I didn't mention is that you can change the environment in the challenge mode. I forgot to mention that. 
Uh, but I think this is very solid. I like the soundtrack. All the songs I've enjoyed so far. It's like heavy metal, hard rock type songs. Uh, I like them all so far. So it's got a song, a very strong soundtrack. Um, the campaign is fun. You know, it starts off easy, slowly increases in difficulty. Um, and about the only negatives I can say f right now is just that mechanic of having to hit the drum pad with both drumsticks at the same time. It's just not working with me. And I don't think it's my technique. I think it's, it's a bug. Uh, I don't think it should be that finicky to get it to work. Uh, but I've been having fun. Uh, it's in the top tier of drum games. I would put it up there with, uh, you know, all the top VR drumming games. There's just so many. Uh, and to the rhythm. Uh, a lot of good VR drum. You know, I personally like uh, Drums Hero. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. That's one of my favorites. And I would put this one up there with, with all the really good drum VR games. There's a lot of good ones. I think what might separate this from those uh, is the soundtrack. It's really good. Um, and all the different note mechanics, like like I mentioned before, there's one where you have to, you know, do the notes, like count to eight and do it that way. Um, there's notes where you have to hit them at the same time, even though that doesn't work. Um, there's notes that they're slightly offset in time. I, it didn't really show a song like that, but uh, there is that note mechanic. So you got to be careful with your timing as well. Um, and it, like I said, even if you're not good at drums, you know, it starts off easy. You can choose medium or you can go hard. <laughs> I didn't go hard because I'm not that good. I'm not, I, I don't play drums in real life. Uh, I play guitar and a little bit of piano, but I don't, I don't play drums. So I'm not really proficient at it, uh, but I've been having fun. Um, anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This is my initial impressions uh, for this game. I, I think it's it's really good. I think it's in the top tier of VR drum games. Uh, the problem is there's just so many good ones. As far as uh, best drum games, if you're going for the drum simulation, you know, closest one-to-one -one representation of real drums, I'd still go with Paradiddle uh, just because I think that's what the game is going for. It's going for a drum simulation. And you have customization, you know, you can put the drum pads however you want, and you can put the ones that you want. Here you're limited. You only have these four and the two cymbals, and you're not really playing playing the bass or, or, or even the, the cymbals. Uh, I mean, the, the hi-hat. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is an arcade drum set. Uh, but as far as arcade drum games go, like I said, it, it's up there with the best of them in VR. And uh, anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This is my initial impression. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.